Okay, so we're just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking at from the back to the front. Everything that you see is magnified 30 or 40 times on the screen. To the right of that great cannula, this is your biceps tendon. It doesn't look that bad, but the anchor's torn. See here how this is loose? That's a degenerative slap lesion. And so we're going to take a spinal needle right now and pass that through. The, the torn tissue you see to the right of that, this is your rotator cuff tear right here. And so we're going to pass our needle through the biceps and do what's called a a soft tissue tenodesis. We might incorporate it into an anchor for the tenodesis as well, but at least initially we're going to hold it by passing a stitch through. So Grasper to Vern and I need the relay. Vern, come on back. Come on inside. Come on inside. Make it easier. Shadow really? You just hand it to me. You just hand it to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go, Vern. Okay, so now what you'll see in a second as you look will be a black wire coming through. There it is there. That's called a super shuttle. So we'll stay right, two hands, stay right there. We'll pass a little bit more through. And then we can grab it here. We'll back the needle out. And now we're going to load that with a suture that we already have. There's a little hole in that black wire. There's actually three little holes in the black wire. And that's what makes it a shuttle. So as we pull back, you'll see... Stay in. As we pull back, you'll see that suture going through. And now we're going to take the spinal needle and do the same thing one more time. So we're going to pass in a slightly different spot, just like that. This time we're going to feed a bunch of the relay through. Okay, we'll reach in with our grasper. We're going to hold it like that. Here you go. And the trick here is to reach behind the biceps. Okay, and now outside your shoulder, we're going to load that. Stay on screen. We'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, so now we've got the bicep secured. We're going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors here and release it. And now this won't bother the inside of your shoulder anymore because it's going to be detached from this location like that. And so now we'll put in a shaver. We'll clean up the remainder. Burn, stay on the screen. We'll clean up the remainder of the labral tissue here. Okay, that's looking better. And now this is where the rotator cuff has that little full thickness tear in it right here. We will take a, an OPDS suture or a number one PDS suture. This is some undersurface spraying of the cuff, but this is not that bad here. We're going to check on the other side, but for sure we know up at the front here that this is where the uh, imaging showed us there was a complete tear, or at least a 90% tear. Okay. So, spinal needle, PDS suture. So here's our spinal needle coming through that area. We're going to pass a marker stitch and then we're going to change positions with your shoulder and go into the subacromial space so in just a second we're going to go off on the video
there's that purple marker stitch coming in just so you can see how we do that and now the next step of this part of the marker is just to back out the needle and that just leaves that soft suture right there okay okay you can see now what you can see now why we use this marker stitch it's coming out right where the tendons torn you can see a little split there so we'll go ahead and pull the marker stitch now and we'll unroof the tear right here so that we can anchor this one little spot back down to the bone we're going to remove some of the synovial tissue but then in just a second you'll see us unroof the tear right here We'll show you some more in just a minute. Okay, so here's the tear. We've unroofed it. You can see right here, this is going down into the joint if we head that way. And so this is all what we call rotator cuff footprint. So this is our target for our suture anchor. We're going to make a little nick in the skin. Go ahead and pull it. And we're going to place a, a guide down. And then through this, we're going to place our suture anchor. So here's the guide coming down. You can see it there. This actually works pretty good as a probe because it's thick. You can see the articular surface there. This is the articular margin, or the cartilage margin anyway. And we're going to go ahead and come back about five or six millimeters and place our anchor down. Go ahead and pull it and place the anchor in position right here. Place the anchor down right here and tap it down into the bone. Go ahead. Okay. Pull back hard. Okay. Okay, very good. And now we're going to... Um, seat the anchor by pulling tight on the sutures. You can see there's three to work with. That looks great. So we're going to show you some more in a little bit. Okay, Vern, you're going to be on the scope. So here's what the suture hook looks like. It's basically just a hollow needle. It's loaded with a black wire called the super shuttle that we already showed you for the biceps work. And we're going to basically try and place the stitch down about like that. Hold the camera right there. see drop the arm take the weight off the white please weight off the white uh-huh white here you can see the needle coming underneath we'll go ahead and feed the wire and then we'll retrieve it we're going to load that blue and white suture or actually, this suture solid blue. We're going to load the solid blue suture into the black wire right now. Okay, so we've got our three sutures in for the rotator cuff repair. We're showing, the, showing them to you there. That looks good. So we're going to finish up. We tied the bicep sutures too, right there. So we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly, okay? Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.